Hey, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Screen Shooting Smart Technology Gain. Um, had to do a little bit more work on the screen. Actually, I had to extend it. As I said, I had to bring it a little bit higher up so it would actually come closer to the ceiling because when you're using a short throw projector, they do cast a, a very large screen from a very short distance. And where the projector was sitting, it was actually pushing the image all the way up in order for me to get a larger picture. So I basically went in, uh, did an entire new batch of the Eclipse Invisible Black Silver Nano and just redid the screen. About, I'd say about yesterday I finished the screen off. So let me show you how far my projector is sitting from my screen. My projector sits, you're not gonna believe this. I'm at, this is one foot, right? I'm at one foot and some change away from the screen. That's it. That's how far my projector sits from my screen. And this is probably about, well actually this screen was painted to be 156, so I'm probably getting about 140 at the most out of all this, about 140, 146 at the most. I'll measure it out and get the proper size. But anyway, this is the size I'm getting from around about one foot and some change away from the screen. Now the screen paint that I'm using is our new Eclipse Invisible Black Silver Nano. It looks absolutely incredible, has amazing and outstanding uh, good contrast level, good white levels, and the screen can take in a ton of ambient light. As you can see, I'm in a well-lit environment. I don't have to be subjected to a dark environment. But let's start the demonstration so you can see how beautiful this screen is going to look in your living room. And this is painted directly onto the wall. Now, our screen paint does come with a blackout cloth. Just to let you know, it does come with a blackout cloth. Um, but if you want, you can, like I said, you can paint this directly onto your wall if you choose. I don't know if you hear that's my wife's alarm going off upstairs. And I'm still working on doing a little bit more wire management at the bottom. Still got more work to go down there. Actually, I just cut the cut and size these speaker cables to fit correctly. They're a bit all over the place. As you can see, we have direct condensed lighting coming right down on top of the screen. As always, I'll bring it down a bit. Now, the projector I'm using is an Optima. It is an ultra short throw 3D interactive projector. Now see how dark the contrast levels are on this screen? Look how beautiful those contrast levels are. And even with the lights all the way up, this is not going to affect the screen in any way whatsoever possible. I want you to see where my hand is on the dimmer all the way up. You can see that I do have my condensed lighting all the way up on the screen. Now I'm going to come over here into the, I just finished it off two minutes ago, well, I left, sorry, yesterday I finished it off, I just haven't got a chance to basically get everything cleaned up. Look at this, look how fantastic that looks, like I said I can go any angle, my environment and that screen's going to look fantastic. Keep in mind these screens look incredible with the windows open, how much more they're going to be able to perform um, even better when the windows close. They're designed for everyday lighting. Now, most screens out there, the only way these screens, their screens will thrive is that screen has to be in some form of darkness in order for that screen to even show an image or even produce a decent looking image. I mean, if you're, like I said, if your high points are in the dark, that's where you're going to be at. Like I said, I can go anywhere in my environment, anywhere I want. And that screen is always going to look the same. And keep in mind, this projector is only 720p. This is uh, the this is not mine. Our Eclipse Invisible Black Silver Nano has color enhancement technology. Also, smart technology gain times 12. Now, for those of you who want to see this with the lights out, we'll take our lights all the way out. Customers out there who want to see what the screen tone look like with the lights out. Now, just in case, if my time runs out of here and my camera cuts off, because sometimes it does that, I run out of time. Uh, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I'd like to thank you all for watching ahead of time. 
how amazing that looks. Like I said, you really couldn't tell the difference. Lights on or lights off. It's just not going to really affect the screen in any way. But I put a nice animal scenery on there. Sorry about that, my camera's way to the side there for a minute. I'm kind of looking up something right here. I'll show you how beautiful it looks. Natural colors, look how beautiful they come up on that screen. Just to give you a little color, let's see what color looks like. Now for those of you who are curious to see this screen, I had done the screen on 130, same, same screen paint. Uh, when I did the 136 inch at anamorphic, I did that on a um, blackout cloth. I did that at 14 feet back about right here. Then I used the, I don't know, the ultra short throw down here. I used the ultra short throw about right there when I actually did the screen. And now this is the ultra short throw. So this screen paint has been used on ultra short throw, short throw, and long throw. All right, again, hope you enjoyed the video game demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Thank you all for your time. Shut up the lights out. Really quick, uncalibrated. Uncalibrated, still set in the factory default settings projector. This shows you how amazing this screen paint is. And this is on an ultra short throw. One of the problems you have with ultra short throws is the fact that using them on particular screens, they will turn dark. Some screens don't react well to short ultra short throw. Let's just show you any.